Hi, this is uh, Johan at Google. Uh, today with us we have one of the most prominent media profiles in Sweden, uh, CEO of OMD, Martin Hugosson. Welcome, Martin. Thank you very much. So uh, we're here today to talk a little bit about a big study that you've been conducting at OMD. Uh, what has that study been about? Well, we have been on a, a quest, I would say, together with YouTube to uh, add knowledge and currency to online video mm -hmm. and specifically to determine uh, the share that should be allocated to YouTube and uh, what return of investment compared to other media channels can be expected. Mm. And um, what has been sort of the scope of the study? Quite extensive. It's been a study that we've conducted over six to nine months, uh, which has included a lot of e econometric modeling. We did several uh, campaign surveys and we also compared all of this to our benchmark database and validated uh, the results that way. Mm. And uh, what did the results show? Any, any highlights? Uh, I think the main highlight is that in Sweden, approximately 10% of an advertiser's total media spend should mm. be allocated to YouTube for maximum effect. What would that mean for advertisers? Well, in Sweden today, um, approximately 3% is allocated to online video. Mm. And as YouTube is one uh, major part of online video, mm. the results really showed that uh, that number should probably be 25, 30%, not three. Mm. So the implications for advertisers in Sweden is quite great. Mm. Uh, obviously, I think they should use this study as a starting ground or starting point for their discussions if, if their current plan is based on old legacies or currencies that don't take new opportunities into account. Mm. And in addition to that, um, the entire planning process needs to be revised since online video accounts for so high reach per week. Mm. Uh, it doesn't make sense to start the planning process from linear TV, but rather discuss if you should start it with online video instead. Mm. Wow. So it's completely changing the game. I think so. Yeah. How, what do you think uh, OMD and other markets uh, where you're not yet leading the business should, should uh, look to this for inspiration as like, what should they do? Well, I, I I think they're very progressive in, yeah. in all markets, but I hope they can use this as a starting point or benchmark for studies they will do or already have done. In terms of your colleagues in the industry, this is a big change and it's a big gap. I mean, sure, you know, there are many reasons for that, like change is happening so fast. Do you have sort of any advice to people in the industry? Like, how do you cope with the change? What's, what should people be doing? Well, obviously, you need to have an ambitious mindset as an individual, yeah. uh, as well as a company. But I think in, in times of change, you really need to work with integration. Mm. Uh, I think that walls or isolation is uh, decreasing the speed of change uh, a lot. So yeah. all measures of respecting each other and gaining knowledge from each other, teams or individuals, mm. will lead to higher innovation. And that mm. leads to progression and change. Mm. So uh, an ambitious mindset and pretty much no walls, but integrate people with each other. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Uh, one question that we always ask people when they come here is uh, what videos they watch personally when going online. So uh, what would be your type of on online video that you go online to watch? I thought you would ask that. So I try to um, uh, remember the videos I have watched like the last 24 hours. Oh. And uh, I think what I enjoy is the diversity. So over the last day, I watched a video of a drunken squirrel. It was <laughs> totally hilarious. Uh, I watched some TED Talks and uh, a tutorial for some specific formulas in Excel. So it's the, the diversity is amazing. Wow. So some do it your do how it yourself to, how to Excel. Videos. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. That's, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to come here. And thank you for, for uh, being a force of change in the industry. Uh, thank you.